Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Paula Galetti. I'm the municipal clerk for the city of Atlantic City and today's mistress of ceremonies. Our program today will include the swearing in of Mayor Frank M. Gilliam, Jr. and three council members at large, Mois Delgado, Jeffrey Fauntleroy II, and George Tibbet. We will have the posting of colors by the Atlantic City Honor Guard. The national anthem will be sung by Officer Susan Johnson. And we'll have the invocation by Imam Amin Mohammed of the Masjid Mohammed, Atlantic City, New Jersey. At the conclusion of today's swearing in ceremony, there will be a brief recess, and then council will proceed with the 2018 reorganization meeting. Let us please stand for the posting of the colors. the invocation by Imam Amid Muhammad. In celebrating diversity, which our new mayor has been a pioneer in, I'm going to recite an invocation in two languages. And I believe this invocation will be a key for this administration, for our city, to have a brand new opening. And I hope this opening would open the door for tranquility, peace, unity, healing, development, growth, prosperity for this city. Please be patient. I'm going to translate as I go from line to line. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <coughs> In the name of God, the beneficent, the merciful. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praise and gratitude is due to God, the Lord and owner and sustainer of all the universes. Ar Rahman Rahim, the most compassionate, the merciful. Malik Yawmiddin, the owner the ruler, the king of the day of judgment. It is you alone, God, that we serve 
and worship and are dutiful to. And it is you alone that we seek for help and assistance and guidance in all of our fears. <laughs> Guide us to the straight path of righteousness and rectitude. That noble path of those who are you have given all your endowments and showered your blessings on them. Not those who have went away from your straight path nor those who have earned your anger. In God's name, may you open for us a victory. Amen. 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 Everyone may please be seated. We'd just like to welcome and recognize some dignitaries which are in the audience. We have honorable Justice John Wallace, Jr., retired from the New Jersey Supreme Court, and he will be swearing in Mayor Gilliam today. We have Senator Jim Beach, State Senator for the 6th District. Assemblyman-elect John Armato, 2nd Legislative District. Sheriff Eric Scheffler, Atlanta County Sheriff. Freeholder-elect Ashley Bennett, Atlanta County Freeholder. Myesha Scudder, representing U.S. Senator Cory Booker. Marshall Spivak, Chief of Staff to Assemblyman Vince Mazio. <clears throat> mayor Barbara Wallace, the former mayor of Washington Township. Barbara Hudgens, former Atlantic City Councilwoman. Joyce Molino, former Atlantic City Councilwoman and Chairwoman of the Atlantic City Democratic Committee. Robert Johnson, former Atlantic City Councilman. Delmer Witherspoon, former Atlantic City School Board President. And Karen Fitzpatrick, freeholder elect. If there's anyone else in the audience, forgive me if I've missed you, but we certainly welcome you and thank you for your attendance. Mayor Tweedle, Pleasantville. Oh, there's, hold on. We have Chief Henry White, AC Police Chief. Scott Evans, former mayor and current fire chief. Dr. Malaku Laku, Professor Emeritus of Economics, Stockton University, and he will be giving today's formal remarks. Chairman Mike Suleiman, Atlantic County Democratic Committee. Commissioner Ernest Aponte, Atlanta County Board of Elections, Imam Ahmed Mohammed, who gave our invocation today, and Pastor Eric McCoy, President of the Atlantic City and Vicinity Fellowship of Churches, and he will be giving today's benediction. Freeholder Amy Gatto is also in attendance. And Maureen Kern. I'm sorry? Freeholder Kern. Freeholder <coughs> Kern. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. We will now have remarks by Dr. Malaku Lakiu. Good afternoon. Member of the City Council, invited guests, family members, as well as that of Atlantic City residents. Atlantic City to me is a city which I refer to a rainbow city. Atlantic City now is changing just like any other city. When I first met my friend, as well as the mayor elect, Frank Gillian, as my student, at Stockton University 21 years ago. We had a program that was created by the university which I directed called South Africa Study Tour Program. 
uh, Mary elect Frank, William, and another two young people from Atlantic City wanted to go on this trip. It was quite a coincidence. That was the time when President Mandela, who was 27 years in prison, ran for a presidency and elected as the first multiracial democratic South Africa as a president. It was quite a very important turning point, particularly to my students. None of these African-American students have been in Africa. And when we landed there, they were surprised that Africa is not as many uh, journalists or quite many intellectuals portrayed them to be. It's not a land of you know, uh, conflicts, a land of famine, drought, there are a lot of sick people running around, but it turns out to be at the place where we were. In all Doda era, problem like that. They were also pro you know, countries that are stable, democratic, civilized, advanced as well. So we traveled there uh, together, and these three young people have opened up their eyes. How did this new South Africa came to be? And one of the things that we have encountered <coughs> was what is called coalition building. And Harold Washington, the famous politician in Chicago, that have given us the art and the technique of coalition building uh, was pretty much was adapted there as well. And so South Asians, Europeans, <coughs> uh, Native Africans, all united together to create what we call the multiracial democratic South Africa. Progressive people united, never been defeated. Atlantic City has a lot of progressive people. They are moving in the right direction, bringing meaningful change as well. So my student then become a friend. Since then, I invited him in my class to share what is going on in Atlantic City with respect to that of economic development. My students ask questions, he answer the question as much as possible. My students were engaged in various kinds of projects in economic development to see if they can make a difference in Atlantic City as well. <coughs> Some came up with an idea of 55 plus communities where certain faculties can also be part of this rainbow city and where they can also have a multiplier effect to bring about changes. Some of them talked about that of a cruise ship. Why not coming to Atlantic City? As it is that of Vancouver, British Columbia. Similar size city, bringing about a change, creating more employment, more income, to navigate the changes and to have some meaningful uh, direction to go to, 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 to taking Atlantic City. So continue to be friends and continue to be a brother as well as an older son just like anybody, would be very delighted to see when his son or when his daughter getting married or advancing into something meaningful position in life. I too feel so much delighted and happy. I want to share this with you all, that I am one of you who is also happy and delighted to see Frank to be the next mayor of Atlantic City. It is with pleasure, and I guarantee you, with his endurance, with his ability to become a citizen of the world and with his ability to cross social boundaries at ease and also hopefully uniting all the progressive to come into what is called truth and reconciliation. We need that. Without that, we cannot move forward. South Africa would have not been a South Africa that we know today if there was no truth and reconciliation. I appear to all progressive elements in Atlantic City to pull up their sleeves and join hands and bring about the new Atlantic City. That's my hope. This is my introduction. Thank you very much. Thank you. We would now like to perform the oaths of office. We will begin with Mayor, 
Frank M. Gilliam. I, Frank M. Gilliam, Jr., do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that, I will support that I will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, that I will bear, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, true faith and allegiance to the same, and to the governments, and to the governments established in the United States, and to the governments established in the United States, and in this state, and in this state, under the authority of the people, under the authority of the people. And that I will perform. And that I will perform the duties of the mayor of Atlantic City. The duties of the mayor of Atlantic City. Faithfully. Faithfully. Impartially and justly. Impartially and justly. To the best of my ability. To the best of our ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. We will now do the at-large council member, Mois Delgado. Solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I'll support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. <coughs> that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear. Who wrote this? <laughs> <laughs> bear allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. And to the governments established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the, the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform all the duties as councilman at large. And justly perform all duties and more as councilman at large. For a term to expire December 31st, 2021 for a term that expires December 31st, 2021. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Can I put my credit score in here? <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you. Yeah, I'll give it to you later. Sure. Sign it with the seal. Jeffrey Fauntleroy the second. Father Frank Oatman. I, Jeffrey Fontenot, second. Do solemnly swear or affirm. I, Jeffrey Fontenot II, do solemnly swear or confirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of New Jersey. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance in the same. And to the governments established in the United States into the governments established in the United States and in this state and in this state under the authority of the people under the authority of the people and that I will faithfully and partially and I will faithfully and partially <coughs> and justly perform all the duties and justly <coughs> perform all of the duties as councilman at large as councilman at large for a term to expire December the 31st 2021 for a term to expire December 31st 2021 according to the yes. best of my ability according to the best of my ability so help me god so help me god Councilman Tibbet is not present, so we will now have benediction by Pastor Eric McCoy. Everybody touch somebody, for is that what you are touching is alive. It's going to take more than just an atom brick and mortar to bring this city back together. Yes, sir. It's going to take each one touching one to touch this city and to change this city. It's about unity. Let us look to the Father. Father God, we thank you for this occasion that you've given us to come and unite ourselves together here. As united, as you have placed us here, we will continue to leave here by the sure support of these many numbers of people that has gathered here to witness this occasion. We will leave here with the same spirit of unity. For Father God, you said in your word, it's my people that are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray. Father God, we're praying right now, looking unto you, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. For Atlantic City walks by faith, and not by sight. Yes. We just yes. thank you and we praise you. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> this concludes our swearing in ceremony. I'd like to thank everyone for coming. May God bless this administration and move us forward into 2018. There'll be a recess, and then we will proceed with our reorganization meeting. Thank you all for coming.